Tuesday, August 25th, and I'm Mark Friedman, just an American citizen. Always glad to be one. Let my hair grow way too long. Didn't feel like shaving today. I mean, looking like all these other people on TV. I just, it doesn't matter. I don't make money on this, so I don't care. Either way, I love being an American citizen. There is no better country. Remember, no notes, no cents, and please <laughs> subscribe and share us. Today, we're going to talk about the Republican National Convention and the platform, the Republican platform. You know, normally, platforms for a party, they have, and they talk about foreign policy, domestic policy, what they're going to do. The Republican platform, though, pushed off all that till 2024 and determined to come down with this statement. Donald Trump is the Lord. That's what the Republican Party said. The platform said, Donald Trump is the Lord. While Kellyanne Conway jumped ship to follow this. Have you watched this yesterday? I've been watching this. I just go, wow. I mean, Kimberly Guilfoyle, she's sitting there like looking up. Oh, the way she was talking, you would think that there were violins and the heavens were going to open up and, and the sunlight was going to come through and go, Donald Trump. But what they're going to do, I'm convinced Thursday, the way this is going to work, is that, they, that Trump is going to come in on a, like on a big platform with smoke pouring up like a rock star. And it'll come slowly down the platform. Got to come slowly so it doesn't trip because he has trouble walking down, you know, down incline, uh, uh, declines, we know that. So it'll come down slowly with the smoke. It'll walk out and go, I'm the Lord, Donald Trump, I am the Lord. And that's what the Republican Party said. No more than that. But what's most edifying is watching Kellyanne Conway leave. Sure, I'm sure it has something to do with her family. That's what she says. Her daughter's been putting stuff on social media. I don't follow social media, so I don't know and I don't care. But to do this two months before the election, it, something doesn't smell right. Obviously, her family's been very unhappy. Her kids have been wanting her out of this, and, and her husband. They've been wanting them out. And now suddenly, two months before, it's kind of like the, uh, the postmaster general who just a couple of months before the election decided no more overtime. And I'm going to get rid of the sorters, and I'm going to slow down the mail because I'm going to make it better before the election. Just like Kellyanne Conway, she's jumping ship. Look, anything can happen, and nobody knows what's going to happen in the debates. That's Trump's hope. But right now, the rats are jumping ship, and Kellyanne Conway is jumping and leading them off. I think this president's got a problem. But watch it. Watch it tonight, and watch it Thursday as we hear that Trump is the Lord. Peace.